Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. You know, going the distance for love, a lot of people deal with this problem. What does it really take for couples to stay together when they're miles apart? Yes, you and know? Dr. Rose Hartzell is joining us this morning from Alvarado Hospital to talk a little bit about this. You know something about this. Your mm -hmm. boyfriend is active duty military. My husband is as well. So we, we get this. It's hard and difficult to keep that relationship and that closeness when there's a distance, right? Yeah, and in terms of San Diego, there's 35,000 military members who might place face deployment at some time. So this issue is really important. A lot to of to us talk about the same yeah. type yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the experience is dealing with deployment. I know you've dealt with it, and, and so have you. How do, how do you how do you get through that? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do to help. One is to communicate well when you're at, um, when you're at home together. Mm -hmm. There's this communication of convenience. Yeah. So you you see some one another. You can talk um, over eating dinner. You have to make an intentional effort to communicate mm. when your partner is out of town. So um, you can use old-fashioned love letters. Um, we're lucky that we have Skype now. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, people, can, do they still do the love letters actually writing them out? Um, it can technology? be a romantic way, yeah, but yeah. Skype is an awesome way so you can see each other's um, faces if, if it's possible, depending if they're on a ship or not. Yeah. Um, there's also packages that you can send and mm -hmm. some fun things that you might be able to do to create some physical intimacy is to maybe include some clothes with your perfume or cologne oh. on it. Oh, the Dr. Rose I know. Um, or some pictures that might be um, a little... Um, Risqué. <laughs> fun. Dr. Rose, uh, talk about uh, this consistent connection. What, what does that mean and how do, how do they reach that point? Um, well, in terms of you want to make sure that you are maintaining consistent mm -hmm. communication, meaning um, trying to schedule a time. Um, I know that can be difficult, um, so mm -hmm. that's why it's important also to, uh, if you're in, the, if your partner is in the military, to join yeah. the family readiness group because mm -hmm. that will let you know if your partner sure. is not going to be able to communicate with you, mm -hmm. and it's not because they don't care. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's a way to constantly be informed on what's mm -hmm. going on. And I think another thing too is even if you don't have a lot of time to talk or email, even just a quick little line of "Hey, I'm." thinking about you, I'm slammed, love you. That can go a long mm -hmm. way, just right. taking the time to do those little kind of nuggets. Well, and setting an expectation. So mm -hmm. before your partner yeah. leaves, what's your expectation in terms of fidelity? Um, what is your expectation in terms of boundaries? What's, a, what's acceptable in terms of can, can um, I go eat lunch with another Per man or um, right, right. Um, and then also what your ex expectation is in communication. That How depends, often? That depends on what level of the relationship you're in. Because some folks get deployed when they're married. Others are starting the relationship. Others are kind of you know in the middle of one. It's yeah. kind of you have to judge for yourself, right. I guess. That's mm -hmm. true. Okay, so so we mentioned that your boyfriend he's active duty Navy lieutenant. How, which one of these pieces of advice have you been able to follow all of it in, in dealing kind of you know not yeah, to get personal yeah, dr rose but you yeah um well i think that um maintaining or telling giving telling your partner that mm -hmm. you're committed so one way is to before they leave as i was saying before if they can let you know how much they care about you mm. and um if they are following these this advice as well it makes it a lot easier now yeah. have you used the skype and the packages and the love letters and that kind of stuff i've used um i've used skype and i've used uh uh emails so i haven't said the packages but hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay so so what is his name here is lieutenant tim kushnick is that his name uh, Lieutenant K Tim Kishanik. Kishanik? I, mean, I mispronounced it. Uh -huh. Oh, is that the gentleman that we've been speaking of here? Wait, let me meet this young man. Let, let me meet this young man. How are you, sir? Good, Good to meet you. you. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. So there's something I've been uh, meaning to talk to you about. Rose, you are the love of my life. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey now! Oh my god! Oh, I'm like tearing up you right now. You're tricky. <laughs> we got Dr. Rose! We got Dr. Rose! Come on, back in here. Calm down. Y'all sit down together. Are we all sitting back down? Wait, where am I going to sit? Oh, we're supposed to stand. All right, I'll take right here. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so tell me about this, little sneaky. Did you have any idea this was about to happen? I didn't. When you started asking me about it, I was like, how did you know this You're like, wait a sec, you guys are getting a little here. 
you're butting into my business. Okay, talk to me. <laughs> tell, tell us about, tell good people San Diego about the relationship, how you guys meet, it was a love at first sight. Give us all the Well, info. we actually met on Match, and yeah. I think that's one thing that I would love to tell people out there is that's a great way for people, mm -hmm. the busy people, to meet each other. Mm -hmm. So, yep. yeah. Okay, so Match.com, yep. Okay, so, so the long distance thing, uh, all the advice, you know, she was just giving people advice on long distance relationship. Obviously, it worked, so. But the cutest part, I have to tell you, <laughs> before we went on camera, in the commercial break, or when Chrissy was doing weather, we were asking about you. And what did you say? You said, well, we'll hopefully be engaged soon. <laughs> <laughs> you had no idea. <laughs> she just, that came up out of nowhere, and you had no idea this was going to happen. So, she, she thought I was going to propose on Saturday. Oh, really? I kept I waiting and waiting. So yeah. when did you decide you were going to do this? Um, well, the producer and I have been uh, been planning it for about two weeks now. Wow. Leslie? Leslie. Wow. Sneaky, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> and just emailing back and forth or what? Yes, mm -hmm. emailing back and forth, and uh, I've been... Uh, I've been uh, planning it with her. Good so. night. Let me see this ring. Good night. Are you kidding me right <laughs> now? Look at this Come thing. Come on, did you get a close up of this? <laughs> How about that? Goodness gracious. That Good is work, Tim. Gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about. Goodness. <laughs> Look at you. This is awesome. Wait, we're going to, the camera's been blinded right? by the bling bling. Bling By the bling bling. 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 All right, now, Tim. Now, you got back from deployment or you were in Korea recently, right? I was in Korea for two weeks mm -hmm. and that, uh, that actually was when I uh, had decided that I had fallen in love with Rose and wanted to marry her. Wow. Oh. And you communicated this, I guess? Yes. And yes. Rosie said, all right. <laughs> there you go. Whatever you get back if you want. Yep. Did, did, did. And he practices everything that I preach. He does. <laughs> Do you really? Okay. Well, Try to. The guys are already married. <laughs> What? Okay, so how long have you guys been dating? Did you say that already? Almost eight months. Almost eight, eight months? Oh. Hey, that's pretty fast. Hey, when you hey know, now. you know that. When you know, <laughs> you know. I'm older than I look. <laughs> did, 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 did you know, be honest with me, did you know she was the one pretty, I mean, uh, I, I knew I knew pretty quickly. Yeah? Yep. We we have a great chemistry together. And Rose, you, you, I'm sure you agree. Look at these two. <laughs> I love this. Oh, we have. And this is oh, Rose for Rose is for Rose. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Thank gosh. You. I seriously was like tearing up just now. That was so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then you're getting deployed again. Uh, no, not, no. Not, not terribly soon. Not for a while. Okay, so we can we can have time to plan the wedding. Absolutely. And, you, know. you know, a wedding on the back lot right of here would be really <laughs> lovely. <laughs> we can make that happen. Right? We've done it before. We can make that happen. By the way, Dr. Rose, did you see the nice, uh, look at the ride. <laughs> Only a, Ro a Rolls Royce. We'll call it a Rose <laughs> Royce today. <laughs> so, Rose, how did you know that he was the one? Um, honestly, I knew uh, over Easter when he was with my family and just seeing how good he was with and interacting with my family. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's important, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. Yep. I want future plans. What's going on? What are the plans? <laughs> um, when's the wedding? How many kids y'all going to have? <laughs> how many grandkids y'all going to have? Et cetera, et cetera. We're, we're thinking probably during the summer. Okay. Get married next next summer sometime. Next summer? Okay, yes. so you got some time to, you know, mm -hmm. plan. plan and do what you... Where are you going to get married? Here in San Diego? Here in San Diego. Yep, Look at this. Diego. So. They've already talked to I mean, I'm not saying there's any obligation. Well, that's to give I, us any I talk kind about of... communication. There you go. There's, you know what? What if you're not obligated to invite us to the wedding? Just saying, you know. It'd be nice. Saying how it's going to be here. I mean, I'm sitting on a table for crying out loud just for you yeah. guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, c congratulations. Thank you. Look at this. She's, she's, we she's are giddy right there. For she's you guys. giddy. Seriously. Oh, uh, so another beautiful. another kiss. This is great. Dr. Rose Hartzell. And uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Tim, I messed up your last name. Kashanik. Kashanik. Tim yeah. Kashanik. They are now engaged, people. Okay. Everybody give them a round of applause. Yay. Look at that ring. Congratulations, Yay. guys. Yay. Good work, Tim. Nicely done, my friend. Okay, let's get